Are you a prayerful person? Do you pray? And is prayer even necessary? Well, we're going to talk about it when we get back. I'm CLM2 for With Power, the channel that helps find the power within you. Hey, happy Monday. We hope everyone out there had a great weekend. It was a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Hey, went out, uh, did some shopping, walked around, you know, kind of cleared the head. Uh, it was a beautiful weekend to do that. So I hope that you got out and you definitely, definitely uh, was able to, you know, breathe a little bit, even though we know the Delta variant is stronger than the alpha. Uh, we hope everyone's out there staying safe and we hope you still was able to get outdoors and enjoy this beautiful weather. Well, this week, uh, we're gonna talk about prayer. Prayer with power. Um, very, very interesting about prayer because most people, whether they wanna admit it or not, do pray. And even those who say that they don't really believe in God or in higher power, um, when they get in sticky situations, they also will pray. Uh, you know, prayer is so, so powerful. You know, people you know, pray for themselves. People pray for others. Uh, we, if you go to any church, the the preacher, the pastor, uh, the priest, um, whoever, whatever denomination that you go to will ask you to not only pray for yourself, but pray for others, uh, pray for the sick and the shut in. You know, prayer is really, really, really powerful. And, you know, religion in this country is very, very powerful. And I shouldn't even say in this country, religion around the world is very, very powerful. Wars have started because of religion. And everyone who prays, everyone who believes in religion, they pray to in higher power. And one of the things that's really, really important about prayer is that when you pray, you believe that there is something bigger than yourself. You believe that that, um, that there is some type of power out there that is stronger than yourself. And what's great about prayer is that prayer does something really, really fundamental, but it's really, really powerful. It humbles you. It humbles you to the point where you are now asking a power that you've never seen or you've never heard to, to do something for you in your life or to do something for others in their lives. So it kind of humbles you. And that's a great thing. You know, being humble is a great thing because you realize that there's something more powerful than you, stronger than you, able to control things better than you, and kind of takes that pressure off of you to do everything. One of the things that I like to say to individuals when they're struggling is they, they need to just sit back and, and just pray. Just, you know, pray to a higher power. Now, here's the interesting thing. Um, many people pray differently. Different religions have different ways of praying. And is it more important that you pray long and, and these drawn out prayers or is the short prayer just as important you know what a prayer is a prayer uh, the gods the higher the higher God um, he doesn't care that you you know may pray a short prayer or you may pray a long prayer it's up to you whatever you feel when you're talking to God you should be able to do it and you know if it's long you know, make it long and if it's short you know make it short it doesn't make a difference because god because you're speaking directly to god and that's a relationship that you and god have 
And that really is what creates the power within you. Because once you're able to pray to something that you believe is stronger than you, what you eventually are saying is that I am not gonna have this big ego. I'm gonna take ego out of it and I'm gonna let you know, God do his thing or her thing. Now, when I was younger, ego was an acronym. And ego was edging God out. You see, when you have a big ego, you think you are the all-powerful one. You believe that there is no higher power and that you can handle all things on your own. And I have seen many of people just get stressed out and they just cannot function because they're taking on the burden of all of these stresses on their own. Well, one thing that happens in prayer is that when you pray, you relieve those stresses and you give it to a higher power. And when you give those stresses to a higher power and let God take care of it for you, guess what? Things start to happen. Your body, your mind is more relaxed. You've taken that stress off your shoulders and you've given it to a higher power. And things start to happen. Good things start to happen. The prayer that you've been praying for begins to manifest itself. Now, I can get into this really, really deeply, but you know, this show is not about uh, doing that here on this platform. But this is just, this show is just to say, you know what? Pray with power. Prayer will make you more powerful. Prayer will relax you. Prayer will take those stresses off of you. And it will reduce your ego so you won't edge God out and think that you are the all-powerful one. Prayer. Hey, let me know what you think. You know, put something in the comments. I'm quite sure there are some people out there who don't believe in prayer. Who believe that they can do it all on their own um, and then there's some people out there who understand that prayer is the way to go let me know what you think hey if you like the content you know what i'm gonna say don't forget subscribe to the channel hit that like button and i will see you next time